Hello everyone, it's Dove again. So, I wanted to show you guys how I charge my Energy Apex with my Dokio solar panel using an extension cable here. And it can, it can be pretty complicated, so just bear with me while I try to walk you through it. This is the connection that the cable that I have for my my particular power station. Each one has its different input connector. This is an EC8 and you know the Blue Eddy and the Jackery they all have their different input connectors and so this one came with this cable right here with the MC4 connections at the end and because the Dokio panel has an SAE connector. This is SAE. That's what's on the, the Dokio panel over there. So I had to go from this connector to MC4. And so I bought this adapter cable right here. This short adapter cable that takes me from the MC4 that comes from the cord that came with my power station. That's the one that came with the power station. Go to MC4 and took it to SAE right here. And this is an adapter plug that they send with you with this cable. They send you this little plug in case you need to change the polarity because red is normally hot and black is usually ground or neutral. And because Unfortunately, this cable is not color coded, so I don't know which one's red and which one's black. And also on the solar panel, they've got a sheath over the wires. And so right here, I don't know which one's red and which one's black. I don't know which one's hot. So it helps to have a meter where you could just hook up a meter to this and open the panel and it will tell you which one's hot and which one's ground but I'm just going to show you that you can do it without a meter because actually I can't find mine right now and uh, so on for my particular solar panel you know other solar panels may be different but for the for the Dokio and for this extension that I got, I did have to use, I do have to use that little plug there. And they send it with you. Well, it's, it's in there pretty good, but you can probably see that little piece right there. That's the adapter plug. And so if I just wanted to run it like that, I would just plug that right into the solar panel and it charges but because this is not very long for a cable I actually don't really ever want to take that out of my rig it's pretty much always just going to live in my rig and I want to set the solar panel probably you know as far away from the rig as possible especially if I need to be in the shade and I need the solar panel to be in the sun so I've got this 10 foot extension that I bought. And on these extensions, let me try to show you. You know, you've got your extension here. And on both ends is the SAE connection. Okay, both ends are. But if you look real close, I'm holding them the same way. And the wiring Look at the wiring. So it's different on each end. The red and the black are opposite. I'm not even sure if that's in frame. So just on this extension cable, the red and the black are opposite. So just keep that in mind. So when I go to plug the this little adapter cable into my extension cable, the only thing I need to keep in mind is red goes to red, black goes to black. So when you're plugging it in, if you plugged it in and your red 
is going in line with the other red and the black is black, that's how you want it. Just keep that in mind. If you can see the cables, it's always red to red, black to black. Even with that little adapter plug in there, I still keep it red to red and black to black. And even, you know, even with all this going on, I still have to use this adapter plug to get this to work. So now I'll plug this into my solar panel. Got him plugged in right there. And my apex is kind of slow on the draw. And unfortunately, I've gained some shade here. I'm gonna have to maybe try to move that. It's just a little slow to register on this guy. He's kind of a dinosaur, not like a blue eddy or a jackery. But you can see, hopefully, the CHG charging 105 watts, which is not very good for a 300 watt panel. But it's kind of like hazy today, I don't know. And I'm sure I don't have the angle right. but I am getting a charge. None of these panels are going to draw in as much power as they say. So this 300 watt panel, it will never draw in 300 watts. It, it just doesn't. And that's with every single different solar panel, whatever the rating is, it's normally that's not what you are getting in. And then because I had to have an adapter cable, so I'm, I'm already breaking the power line right there. So I've already made it worse by adding an adapter. And now with this extension cable, I'm getting even more loss. And so that's kind of my fault that I'm only getting 106 watts because I put this extension cable in. So that's just kind of what I have to deal with. I have to deal with that power loss if I want to have this you know, further away from my rig. If I have it just outside of my door, I might be able to get away with just the adapter cable with with this one. But more than likely, I'm gonna want it farther out. And so I'm probably always gonna use this extension cable. And if that doesn't work, if you've, uh, if you've got this kind of setup, and you're not getting any kind of charge, then it might be that you just don't need that adapter plug. And if that's the case, you would take that out and you would use the other end of this cable. So you'd take that end and bring it over here and plug it in, because no matter what, you have to keep red to red. So no matter what, and because this extension cable has both you know, on each end, that's possible to do. Just turn the cable around and make sure that you're going red to red, black to black. Just take out that middle extension and then plug the other end into your solar panel, then open your solar panel up and see if it's getting charged that way. That's pretty way, pretty much the only way I can tell you how to use these. 
adapter cables and the plugs and everything without a multimeter because it's just you're, it's kind of a guessing game and it's just playing with it. You don't need an extra adapter plug to make this extension cable work. If it's not working with that little adapter plug in there, just take it out. Just take that out of the equation. You don't need another one. You might just not need that one. So it's either you do need this or you don't. You should not need another one of these little adapter plugs to make this whole setup work. You only need that one. And if that doesn't work, take it out. Flip your wire around and then check it and see if, if it's working that way. Okay? I hope that's helpful. Kind of doing this for Tina. Tina is the outsider because she's having problems with hooking her Dokio panel up to her Blue Eddy. And I've been trying to walk her through it or talk her through it and I think just showing this in a video will be easiest. Unfortunately, the guy that was helping her already taped that adapter onto her adapter cable. And so if she doesn't need that adapter plug, then she's gonna have to take that tape off to take that out and get it out of the equation. But I would just check and make sure, you know, get the panel out in the sun She's doing a testing inside with artificial lighting, and I think these panels really do need to be out in the sun. And so, just get it out in the sun to do the test. And if it doesn't want, want to work this way, just take that little thing out, switch it around, and try again. Because this, this is all you should need. It's just that one extension cable and the one adapter cable. And these adapter cables, they come in all different varieties because all these different solar panels and the power stations and so like that's a SAE to SAE. This is SAE to MC4 and then you've got Anderson connectors and all the other, all the other types of connectors and it can get confusing. But just in general, always try to go red to red when you're plugging in your cables. Black black okay all right I will talk to you guys again later bye